Let me add to the goals he scored already this season. He's already the top scorer in the league. What a match. And it's live. What a perfect day for football we've got here. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith, former England international, of course, is in the commentary box with me as usual. Our action comes from the fifth round of the FA Cup. It's Peterborough United against Forest Green Rovers. Yeah, starting to get towards the business end of this competition now. And cup matches are always, they always have a different flavour to league contests. So I'm expecting a really good match here. He's the one we're focusing on, I think with good reason. What I like about him is his acceleration as much as just that outright pace. He, he can really leave somebody flat-footed when he's got a mind to it. This is the lineup for the home side. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so. If they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Thank you. Enjoy. This is the Forest Green Rover side today. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. First half has begun here. Now he's got the ball, what's he going to do with it? Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. A great chance to go in front. It's an own goal. Oh, you've got to feel for him now. Well, it is a goal. It is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt about that, Alan. No, none at all. You're in those positions so often and sometimes it does go wrong. Bad enough to be behind now, but to do it with an own goal is particularly annoying for the team and the player in question. Kent. Here's Grant. Untidy work. Well, he's got a chance now to get forward in this wide area. Good vision here. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. There's been a goal at Goodison Park. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. Nine minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Kent. Saw that coming and intercepted. Chance to cross. He's aimed it in towards the front post. Good punch from the goalkeeper from the cross. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. He's won it back easily. Throw in now. Spotted that well and intercepted. Dawson. Maybe he'll cross it here. In the Fulham game, there's news of a goal. 
Alamakinale. It's a goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 15 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Given possession away here. He has cleared it well. Intercepted well. Dawson. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Going to the near post here. Defender did well to get to. And the keeper makes the save above his head safely enough. Well, that's gone behind for a corner. Well, here comes the corner. It was a promising situation, they could have made more of that. Kent. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Going forward with real purpose now. That was a foul, the referees allowed the game to go on, he's entitled to do that. Here's a chance to whip it in. They're coming in at the near post for the cross. Well, there is the equaliser. We're level again. Yeah, I think they deserve that, the way they've been playing last few minutes. How about that for a goal? Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Let's see the replay now. This manager doesn't normally hesitate to make a substitution or a, a change in formation. I think we're going to see one here after that equaliser. It's really passive play at the moment by the defending team. So away we go at one all. His teammates have recognised the potential of this attack. To put them in front, struck the post, could have come out, but in it went. Oh, it's great action this for us, Alan, isn't it, from the neutral point of view, to come back straight away, virtually from the kickoff, and score themselves. Yeah, it's got an unpredictable feel to it, this match. You never quite know what's going to happen next. It's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but these players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. And we restart the game 2-1. Let's check in with Alan McAnally, who's at Fulham, and there's news of a goal, Alan. It's a second goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 31 minutes played, 2-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Now, can they make this count? Keeping, tries the shot, has to be! Goal, they've hit back straight away, great reaction. No time to sulk about conceding, they have scored at the other end. Well, you have to ask questions of the defending here. It was slack, it was sloppy, it was unprofessional. We can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. Brilliant entertainment. The scores are level again. Very tight affair here.
Morton. Looking to create an opening. Must be a goal. He's made the save. And in it goes. Oh, it's a penalty. Well, it's been tight out there. Not much to choose, but a bit of a gift there. Well, the referee has given a penalty, but he hasn't booked the offender. Well, quite often in that circumstance, you would see the yellow card produced. He might be a bit fortunate there. Nicely knocked in from the penalty spot, made it look easy. He just looked confident walking up to the ball here, Martin. And the goalkeeper didn't, to be fair. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. Very good game, 3-2. Goal for the visitors, number 16, Carlan Ahern Grant. Trying so hard to make the opening there, nearly. Now Grant. Striding forward, purposefully. That's a good block. Kaczynski. Butler. Still searching for an equaliser with some good interplay here. Morton. A space to get the cross in. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of four minutes of added time. He's got the option to get in across now. Needs to be very nippy. Here's Grant. Throwing his body into the way of the shot. In goes the corner. Cleared away, well away from goal. All the fans are thinking about, as the half-time whistle goes, is that incident earlier when the penalty was given against their team. Yeah, and you can't blame the ref, and to be fair to the fans, they aren't really. They're looking at their own players. Really did expect more than they saw in that first half. It's an own goal. Oh, you got a feel for him now. Going to the near post here. And the keeper makes the save above his head safely enough. And that's gone behind for a corner. Here's a chance to whip it in. And coming in at the near post for the cross. 
Well, there is the equaliser. We're level again. Yeah, I think they deserve that, the way they've been playing last few minutes. To put them in front. Struck the post. Could have come out, but in it went. Now, can they make this count? Keeping the ball well in a dangerous area. Has to be! Goal, they've hit back straight away. Great reaction. No time to sulk about conceding. They have scored at the... Looking to create an opening. Must be a goal. He's made the save. And puts away the penalty. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Morton. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. Couldn't keep it. Great chance. What an important goal this may well be. Two ahead now, calling a black ball for victory. Well, it looks simple, but this lad has got a great instinct of drifting into space, being in the right place at the right time. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Prospect of even more goals, 4-2 is the score. For the visitors, number 18, Kevin Dawson. And that is now a goal kick. What a good player we knew he was before the game started. He's just emphasised that in this performance. Oh, he's looked really lively today, hasn't he? He's been getting the ball in good areas, turning, shooting with both feet, and he's got himself a goal. The visitors having lots of the ball, and I've been really impressed by the way they've gone about the business, taken the game to the opposition, they've dictated the tempo, they're totally in control, can they see it through to the end? That's a good challenge, and that will clear the danger. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. With the owner of the red Morton. car obstructing the main entrance, Here's Mills. please remove the car as soon as possible. Thank you. Now Grant. Can whip it in now. Here's the chance. Powerful drive. Close enough to suggest. Have another go, son. Yeah, strong shot. I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though. A 
Alan McAnally is at Anfield and he's got a goal to tell us about. It's a third goal for Liverpool. 61 minutes played, 3 0. Great ball. Excellent work from the keeper. Corner swung in, got to get it over the first man defending, and they haven't done that from the corner. And they've cut it out. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. There's been a goal in the West Ham game, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Chelsea. 65 minutes played, 3 0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us, and he's brought us right up to date again there. Here's Grant. Tackle is strong. Read that well with the interception. Into the attacking third. This contest is over, done and dusted, but the post-mortem will be a long and arduous one. Well, let's take another look at the goal. It's turning out to be an embarrassing scoreline, really, as we're underway again. Number 16, Carlan Ahern Grant. Promising forward play from them again. Well, they could have been opened up there, but the interception stopped that. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Cardiff City Stadium is the venue for Alan McAnally today, and there's been a goal, Alan. It's a second goal for Watford. 70. And here's the shot. No nonsense defending. It was needed. Tries the shot here. They blocked it then. Good defending. No problem in the end. They can be quick on the break now. The break is definitely on. Not a great cross, really, for the goalkeeper. An easy piece of work. Well, sorry that Alan McAnally couldn't finish his update there. We can confirm that Watford did score in that match. They are winning 2-0. Good interception there. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. Alan McAnally's got news of a goal in the Manchester City game. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Kevin De Bruyne. Amazing little run past the defenders, followed by a powerful... Strike past the keeper. 79 minutes played. 2 0. Thanks, Alan. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? He's put in the corner. Keeper goes for the punch from the corner. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. And he's seen the shot. The shot gets blocked.
put the corner in the middle. Well, the goalkeeper takes charge here from the corner. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Adams. Well, the home team slipping it through. Wonderful chance! And they managed to score here. Well, they cut the margin by one, but all you can say is, well, well done for trying at this late stage. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special, and he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances, and it is a knack. We start again, five goals to three. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Trying to turn over the play here. Now Grant. Clear opportunity. It's another one for them. They go further in front and they are full value for this position. No slacking in these late minutes here and the chance to extend their lead and they have uh, voraciously gobbled up the chance. Well, they played some really good football out there today and that was another example of it. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape and, boy, is it getting results out there. A very comfortable margin for victory. Can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left with such a difference between the two teams. That's a great interception. Trying to get the ball in behind. Great goalkeeper, great save. Well, he shouldn't have had a prayer there, but he's so agile, this keeper. Corner played into the middle. The tackling is a real skill. Looks so promising at the beginning. And there we are, that is the final whistle. The referee has had a lot of work to do here. And the final score is six goals to three. Brilliant performance from this fella. A really good day at the office for him. Grabs himself a couple in a win. Couldn't be much better. And puts away the penalty. <laughs> Couldn't keep it. Great chance. What an important goal this may well be. The two ahead now, building a platform for victory. Oh, what a happy.
happy goal scorer. He's found the way past the keeper once already, and now he's knocked in his second. And the hat trick. Well, the home team slipping it through. Wonderful chance. And they managed to score here. Well, they've cut the margin by one, but. Now Grant. Clear opportunity. It's another one for them. They go further in front and they are full value for this.